Okay, now let's talk about this story here, which I found on Reddit today, and I, I uploaded it immediately. And the picture is definitely worth a thousand words. It says, when the tank hits you with, why would I waste two minute cooldowns on regular trash mobs? And this is referring to dungeons, dungeon mechanics, uh, when tanks go and they pull a bunch of, uh, a bunch of enemies together. And uh, <laughs> this guy's like, when the tank hits you with, why would I use my cooldowns, my two minute cooldowns, which is like some of your best, uh, some of your best damage mitigation things. And as a healer, this is the reaction I would have. And I've done quite a bit of healing. I got all 90s in heals. So uh, I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm a tank main. And I really, this is, this is actually one of the things I, I, I should, I should really repeat. It's like, I think every tank out there, if you want to play tank, you should play healer. It makes you a better tank. You understand what things make the healer's life miserable when you become a healer. And uh, when you notice that the tanks aren't doing certain things like using their cooldowns, uh, I'm a warrior, so I'll refer to warrior abilities like vengeance to reduce some of the incoming damage. Uh, when you don't use uh, blood wetting, which is oh man, if you're not if you're not using blood wetting during your two minute or during your uh, trash pulls, you're doing yourself a disservice as a warrior. That it, it basically is a life on hit AOE for all the mobs around you. So you do your AOE, you just heal yourself to full. And uh, you really got to get used to that because the higher up you guys go in in, in Final Fantasy fourteen, the higher up the tanks are, the more you're gonna need this. There are gonna be some there are gonna be some dungeons where if you don't do it, you're gonna wipe. I like how Final Fantasy fourteen sprinkles in some of these dungeons where it punishes tanks for not using their um, their cooldown, especially if you decide to pull two or more mobs. Uh, they just, I think that's the way they balance it. And I think it is, it's really cool how they do that. Uh, but when you get up in the, in the upper levels, once you get above like 60, it really becomes one of those things you should know. If, if you hit 50, you know, if you don't know it, that's fine. But once you get to 60 dungeons, 60 plus dungeons, you got to realize that the trash mobs that you're pulling, they hit harder than the bosses. So there is no reason at all, absolutely no reason at all to save your cooldowns for bosses. And that includes your invulnerability. And I touched on this in my other video. I'll put the link in the show description or on in the thing here about uh, make sure you use your invulnerability during the trash pulls. Don't use it on the boss. You're not going to need it. There is zero to zero percent that you're going to need your invulnerability on the boss pull, right? I think the only time I've used my invulnerability, which is home gang on a boss pull is, uh, gosh, was it? Dead Ends. I think Dead Ends is the dungeon where uh, you have that giant sp uh, sphinx looking thing, Egyptian looking thing at the end. And I've used, I used Home Gang on him because everybody died and I had to solo the boss. I've had to solo that boss probably like, like 10 times because it has a doom mechanic and a lot of people don't know about it until they get doomed. So my healers, when, when we were progressing through the story and when like the first few weeks of the dungeon, even now, if you get, if you get an expert roulette, People are going to get doomed and they're going to die and you're going to be the only tank alive. So there are going to be times where you may have to pop your invulnerability on the boss because you got to solo it and you're going to be healing yourself. Um, but that's like a 0.0001% chance. You just you just never are going to use your invulnerability on bosses. So you use them on trash pulls. If you're going to pull a really big pack uh, and, you, and you may not have your vengeance, you may not have your two-minute cooldown, you may not have Rampart, uh, you may not have um, reprisal. You may not have uh, arm's length. You may not have just about anything. Let your healer know. You can even type in the chat. Gonna be using my invulnerability here on this next pull. You know, so they'll be like, oh, crap. He's about to take a lot of damage. Type in chat. Don't be afraid to type in chat and let them know. But <laughs> this this picture, man, this picture is just so, so indicative. I, I, I love this post. I think that's why I upvoted it so quick because it's like, oh, you just fall on your face as a healer when the tank says, why would I waste my two minute cooldowns on regular trash mobs? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> and the comments are gold, man. And gold. And the guy was like, I mean, at that point, I hit them back with, then why would I waste precious GCDs to heal you when I can be doing more DPS? True. True. True words have not been spoken, am I right? Yeah, I know, right? Because, you know, as a healer, you're very valuable in dungeons with DPS. If you can contribute DPS quite a bit, um, 
then so be it. That's why as a tank, I try to always keep my health. Like if I notice that my health gets below 50%, I'll pop cooldowns and I'll do other things, even though I may not need it, just so the healer can focus on damage while my, my health slowly creeps up. Because I can plop blood wetting. I can do some of my other two or three heals that I have on Warrior to get my health up myself. And the healer can just keep healing. Uh, he can just keep doing DPS. You know, so uh, I think the healer is more valuable in dungeons when they're doing DPS because it goes a lot smoother. Um, you can, I mean, a dead mob can't hit you. So <laughs> the best damage mitigation is to kill them first. And that, that's the saying that I like to say, uh, especially as a warrior. It's like kill them first and they won't damage you. Um, but yeah, man, this is this is for all you aspiring tanks out there. This story, I want to talk about it because tanking is near and dear to my heart in Final Fantasy XIV. And <laughs> use your cooldowns on trash pulls. I know other games may not do that. This game does that. In Final Fantasy XIV, use them. Use them. That, you got to spread them out. Don't use them all on one trash pull. You know, like use Vengeance on one and then go to the next pull and use Rampart. And in between, you know, during the fight, you can use your Blood Wedding because it's off cooldown. Why is it off cooldown? Your Blood Wedding should never be on cooldown. Um, it's off cooldown. And so if you don't have Vengeance, if you don't have Rampart, if you don't have Blood Wedding or whatever, you know, you got Arms Length and you got Reprisal, use those to reduce damage and to slow the mobs down or whatever may have you. Because again, I'll point this out again. Arm's length, a lot of you don't know, arm's length is a great mitigation tool. It not only prevents you from getting knocked back, it slows every mob that hits you, which is a way of reducing damage. They hit slower. So use it. Don't be afraid to use arm's length. Just use it for fun. You know, if, if the dungeon is going well, use it. Just use arm's length. And there's just like, you'll see all the slow icons pop up on the mobs and it's beautiful. They just like, and they hit you so slow that uh, you can kill them first. This is a great article. I'll put the link in the show description. You guys can check it out. Please give it an upvote or put a spicy comment in this video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree or disagree? If you disagree, hmm, we'll have to talk about that. This is wonderful one.tv. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.